a good hustle play by McTavish who came back, brings it into the middle of the ice. Malkin got a stick on it, kept it in for Raquel. O'Connor drops it back. And now at the line, Carlson. And that high shot tipped on the way by Raquel, who snuck out from below the goal line, and it's out of play. Raquel, who was trying to get a touch on the puck, and got probably more of Gibson. Terry looks around, tried to pop it ahead, but that was sealed off. Good play by Vinny Hinestroza. Here's Hinestroza. Tries to stuff it around with his reach, but Gibson got the left pad in the way. Opening period at Honda Center. Not without chances at either end. Good stop by John Gibson. Hinestroza in just his second game made his Penguins debut Saturday in San Jose and had a goal and an assist. They play on Zahorna, coughs it up, and it's tipped to center ice. Terry trying to take away space for Carlson. Zahorna cuts back, throws it across the line on the right wing. Eller comes in closer, let it go. Gibson made the stop, they score! Zahorna throws it in off the Anaheim netminder from below the goal line. A little bit of a miscommunication here as Pittsburgh enters the zone, and you could see... And no pressure really being put on the Penguin forward Eller and it leads to kind of a broken play where the puck goes off the skate of Fowler behind the net and then it's just chopped back out to the front it goes off the right leg of John Gibson and trickles through the five hole over the line and one and three when they outshoot their opponent Here's Kalorn, spins it back, and Labushkin got it on net, loose to the right of Jari. Kalorn collects it, but he can't settle and shoot. I'm a battling back. Watch what Jacob does right here. He's going to chop down at that puck. He gets a piece of it, just catches the inside of the blocker of Tristan Jari. Frank hangs on to it as he brings it to the left boards. Now high in the zone, has it poked off his stick. Look out, Cook out. Here comes Malkin. Looking for a trailer, got it back, and a save made on Raquel by Gibson. And third man into the zone, Ricard Raquel, and that's a big time stop for John Gibson. Boy, Ricard Raquel, the word from everyone involved in the Penguins organization is that Raquel ahead. Zegers fires it right through the slot, a swing and a miss for Carlson. And Riley Smith tripped up, penalty coming up to the Ducks. Raquel pounces on a two on one with Mulkin. Oh, a stop. save, John Gibson. What a stop by Gibson. And the pass across plays a little deeper. What a great stop that was. The Ducks needed to stay out of the box. They did a real good job of it for the first half of the game. This is Pittsburgh's first power play of the night. It comes at 10-13 of the second. Malkin from below the goal line just steps out. And then Lacombe tripped up trying to get to the rebound. And that Pittsburgh power play will end. Gensel starts back across the line with Malkin. Into the middle, turned over. Brent Leeson splits the D. Short-handed rush. Pulls it in and asks the net. He had some pressure on the backside. Gibson alertly able to hang on to that. Here's the short-handed bid by Leeson. Yeah, he, you know, he's good effort by Riley Smith to keep pressure. Zahorna to the corner. Gets the puck to Brian Russ. Back to the line, it's Latang. Circling out Rust and a great save by Gibson as the one-timer from Raquel does not get through his former teammate. And it's Ricard Raquel again denied by a real good stop by John. Troy feeds the line, Mitnikov. And he play catch again. Mitnikov's one-timer had hit the tang in front. And a couple of bits, one by Kalorn and another by McTavish, unable to get by Jari. It's that shot by Minchikov and actually goes off of Latang and creates an issue. He tries to clear it. He hits his defense partner. Ducks now 0 for 3 on the power play. They get one shot on that man advantage. Henrique digs it loose. Carlson, great pass, still loose. Henrique can't get it by Jari. Adam Henrique with his head right there. And he was uncomfortable. In fact, that was an excuse. Three time Norris winner sends it ahead. Here comes Brian Rust. Across the line with Crosby, who flips it right into the goal crease. Steered aside by Gibson, the wraparound by Gensel, nearly makes it 2-0, and then it's whipped wide by Carlson. It's 1-0 because of John Gibson, and look at how he stretches with that left leg. Fowler takes a hit as he pokes it back to Jackson Lacombe. Lacombe 
pressure, lost the puck. High slot, Raquel, and Gibson again keeps him off the score sheet. So many chances. This is under the glove, but off the top of the goal pad. Stretches it ahead, and it's redirected in by Brian Rust, who gets a pass from Crosby, puts it on net, blocker to side by Gibson to the line. Pedersen keeps it in. Crosby got it on net, battled through the goal crease by Gensel. Gensel has had a number of good opportunities for them, and Sidney Crosby throws it towards the net. Gensel got a touch on the initial shot. Shea's pass off a friendly stick, but Gudis turns it back, only had a cut off. Here comes Ricard Raquel again. Pulls it to his forehand and fired it over top of the net. Kept at the point, sent right back through the crease and off the stick of Gibson out of play. Ricard Raquel with those quick hands. Former late first round pick of the Ducks way back in 2000. Say no icing because Mitnikov pinched off the point. Anaheim off the boards to center. Leeson gets it the rest of the way in. He gets to it. Got Johnston in front. Took the shot. Johnston sweeps the rebound just wide. Good shifts where they put a little pressure on and are starting to feed more pucks down into that crease area. Terry carries in. Pulls it in. Hit the goal post. High off the crossbar. Helberg never saw it. Now a blocked shot results in Anaheim the other way. Possible three on two. Terry snaps it over. Here's a chance. And firing wide was Carlson. Well, that time they had the center lane drive, and it was Zegras. Filters it below the goal line. McTavish comes in. O'Connor moves it away. Right into the goal. Chris McTavish banging away. Battle to the corner. Eller and Carlson. Leo go after it. In comes Zegras at center. Nobody home in black. And back come the Penguins with under a minute to go. Gensel hits the empty net. Carrick, but this looked close to offside. This is offside, John. Well, you can bet the Ducks are going to take a look at this. Eller just threw it to the wing, and you're right. I think this plays offside. And But they know already on the Anaheim bench that that goal's coming off the board. So what Greg Cronin's talking to his troops about right now is, okay, you know, he's telling John Gibson when he wants him to come out of the goal crease. We've just shown the replay that we showed you on the big board above center ice, and here's the call. After official review, it was determined that the play was offsides. We have no goal in the play. Please reset the clock for 56.9. McTavish trying to draw a penalty there, and he wins the draw. Zegras snaps his pass through the middle. Gensel breaks it up. Mitnikoff ahead, and fanning on getting it deep was Carlson. The Penguins just lift it back to center. Crosby on the backhand. Hoists it into the empty net. And only Sidney Crosby. And now it is 2 0 Pittsburgh. 556th career NHL goal, tying him with a great Johnny Busick. And the Ducks. Despite a valiant effort, will not come back tonight. The winning streak will die at six. And the Penguins with a hard-fought 2-0 victory this evening at Honda Center.